Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got mail. Hey Santee, how about one on freighting? Mitch Herod. My name is Mitch Herod. Freighting in the Old West. Let's do it. If you lived in a town distant from a railroad depot, then getting stuff shipped to you was a given. Freight companies with livestock-driven wagons would haul packages and supplies from settlement to settlement. For the gold miners in California, it was a necessity. Phineas Banning and David Alexander ran a freight company which provisioned some of these camps. Apparently, their enterprise was comprised of over 40 wagons and a healthy mix of 500 mules and horses. Once an Amazon Fulfillment Center was created, it made things easier because, well, Amazon was around then. This is stupid. Okay, maybe not. The term supply train was generally used to describe a string of wagons hauling goods. Colorado's Ute Pass was so narrow that they would go up the pass in the morning and down in the afternoon. It took a tough person to do the job. Not only did they have to be able to handle a team of 10 to 18 draft animals, but they had to overcome all the obstacles that surround wagon travel. Bullwhackers and mule skinners would walk alongside cracking a rawhide whip to keep the animals in check. By the way, this was done in all kinds of weather for 10 to 18 miles a day. A broken wheel, basically the flat tire of the day, was a huge effort to repair. You couldn't call a roadside assistant to come help either. Wagons would have a jack, extra axles, and other tools to get the vehicle back up and running but not without a huge delay. Ore wagons were the largest and most rugged, coming in at 14 to 16 feet long and hauling up to eight tons. The reinforced rear wheels were taller than most men. Designed to carry ore from the mines to a train, these giants were pulled by a team of 20 mules. Heck, those wagons deserve their own video in the future. On the lighter side, stagecoaches could haul a little freight if need be. Crates and packages could be stored in the boot or up top. I imagine that was more money since stagecoach travel wasn't cheap to begin with. Just hand it all over. Hey, you Sir Mesh? Yes, sir, I am. Is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, I'm looking for a freighter. I got freighters. No, not fritters. Freighters. Well, I'm a freighter that has fritters. You're a fritter freighter? Fritter freighter. Do you ship other things too? Like yes, I ship good, other good, things. Good, good, because I have a lot of merchandise I got to get over to Sweden. Well, Church will it will it fit in a wagon? Sure, will. Yeah. You want to go to Sweden? Yeah. You think I'm going to take a Conestoga wagon to Sweden? Well, we could float camp, eh? If I put these in a wagon, I even if I could get them across, they'd be soggy and nobody would want them. Only well, want soggy fitters. Sound got the, Oh, that's Fritter. my order of fritters. Thank you. I didn't know that. Good to see you. That critter's got my fritters. Early on, a freighting company was a lucrative business. Here in Arizona, we had the Miller Brothers Freight Company and Charles T. Hayden's Freight Company, which had a wide range of coverage. Hayden was a huge entrepreneur, incidentally, and had a ferry business as well as holdings in the mines. Russell, Majors, and Waddell was another big business who serviced the Great Plains and eventually New Mexico. Put on your Sunday clothes, we're gonna ride through town. As the railroad expanded its track, the freighting wagons were used less. In 1880, Santa Fe got its train service and that ended the need for freight along the famous Santa Fe Trail. As technology grew, automobiles came into play and eventually ended the need for the freighter. Today you can still see examples of these great wagons in museums and Old West theme parks. I urge you to check them out. They're pretty cool. Hey Sour Mash, thanks for helping out today, I appreciate it. Glad I could. I'd do it anytime. Good. Folks, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Hey, and we'll see you on down the trail. Anybody want further? The term supply train was generally used to describe a string of wagons hauling goods. 
Colorado's Oot Oot <laughs> Colorado's Ute Pass was Well they can float, can't they? Well they can float, but the but the, the I haven't taught the uh horses how to scuba dive yet. Oh my just, lord, give me that. Hey, where are you going with that? Uh, you're paid for it. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs>